Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw an airfoil and this can be used for either your front or rear airfoil design. First thing I want um, you to check is you have your spec sheet with the airfoil specifications and on the back of that you have the dimensions that you've recorded for your rear airfoil and for your front airfoil. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch up start with using the rectangle tool so I'm going to hit R for rectangle I'm going to click once at the origin I'm going to move up and over to the right and you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner of my screen you'll see a set of numbers next to dimensions you're going to type in the length comma height so on your sheet type in the number you put in for the length mine was 25 comma type in the number you had for height minus 20 and these are actually the minimum specs for length and height of an airfoil I'm going to hit enter okay so the first thing I'm going to draw here is that curve that sometimes we see on airfoils some of you may only have a straight line but some of you have made curves so I'm going to use the arc tool A for arc I'm going to click at the top I'm going to click on the bottom and I'm going to move up to the midpoint and I'm going to move over to the right and you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner of my screen you'll see the word bulge appear. I'm going to type a number like 1.5. This would be the minimum that you would type in for this number which you could type in a number like 2 or 3 possibly. So I'm going to type in 1.5 and hit enter. So that we have created this on our working drawing. This is so that the wheel can get close to the airfoil, but obviously not touch the airfoil. And now I'm going to go ahead and use the arc tool again. And I'm going to click once, twice, and then my third click, I can control this arc. So I'm going to click a third time. Okay, so that would be something simple to do. Um, something else we could also consider doing is using the arc tool and clicking once, twice, and coming in. Now, the problem with this is obviously this is too thin and this is too thin. So if you want a concave design, we have to go back to a spec where we said the minimum thickness of sharp and thin points would be two millimeters. So I'm going to hit T for tape measure. And I'm going to click once here. I'm going to move over to the right and type in the number two. And I should see a small little guide up here. I'm going to come down here, click once, move up. I'm going to type in the number two. So if you want to have a concave design, I'm now going to hit A for arc. I have to make sure I come in at least two millimeters. Click. I'm coming up at least two, mil two, mil uh, two millimeters. Click. And now I can go ahead and make my arc design. Now once again, don't create something too sharp because I have some thin points there. So just be reasonable how far you come in. I'm going to go ahead and click there. 